I think there are a couple things that have attributed to our season going so well so far. One thing being, I think the girls are a little bit more um, comfortable in getting to know me and my coaching philosophy, as well as the expectations for the coaches and just what we really want out of the girls, playing wise, on and off the court, things like that. Um, whenever there's a new coach, I think that that's something important for the girls to get comfortable knowing the coach and you know developing their own team chemistry. Another thing is that we only graduated one player. Uh, we graduated two, but one player who was in, was injured, so we only had one senior. So it was really nice having one year for the girls to really get comfortable. Um, on the court knowing each other playing together and then only losing one player has helped them kind of just continue and build off of all the chemistry and on court things that they've been working on since last season. Well, um, to talk some specifics, X's and O's, I would definitely say that our man-to-man -man offensive plays need a little bit of work on them. For teams who play us in man-to-man -man or player-to-player, girl-to-girl, all basically the same terminology, but um, I think that that's an area that we struggle with. Part of it is just reading the defense and you know just playing off of each other. But um, there are a few plays that we do really well on an offense on man. But again, I think our man-to-man -man defense is something that we have to continue to improve on, and also just general defensive concepts, which um, help defense getting to the helpline, rotation, things like that. One of the biggest strengths I believe of our team is just the chemistry that the girls have together. From a coach's perspective, there's no selfishness, there's no cattiness. The girls look out for one another, they take care of each other, they take ownership for their mistakes, and they um, hold each other all accountable. And when teams have good off the court chemistry, it kind of carries over to on the court and the same thing as if there was poor off the court chemistry then it kind of carries on to the court and I think this year the girls click really well they also have you know their friends which is really exceptional I know that we plan team dinners and things like that but a lot of times I hear the girls saying oh who wants to go out for something to eat after or offering to drive an underclassman home and that off the court chemistry really carries over because when the girls are in practice working together everybody's working towards the same thing and that's really what being a team is about it's about caring about others before yourself and thinking about something bigger than yourself and I think that our girls really understand that Um, absolutely. This year we have one freshman who has been stepping up and contributing in varsity games, Jess Koya, number 24. She is a very tall post player, aggressive in the boards, and she comes in kind of a uh, spark player. Jess, we need some rebounds. Jess, we need, you know, we need aggression in the paint. So she's been, you know, giving us moments of that. We also have a freshman team for the first time in a couple years, which is great because we're able to focus just on the freshmen developing, growing, you know, that team chemistry that I was talking about before has been really clicking well and some of those players um, are actually playing JV as well. So not only are they showing us that they can contribute at the freshman level, but they're giving us key minutes at the JV level. And um, we have two sophomores who played JV, uh, who played varsity last year, Sabrina Krasner and um, Olivia Hansen, who are both very um, threatening players, both bring a lot of intensity to the game. Sabrina's a guard, Olivia can play post and guard. So, um, you know, they're getting in the mix as well at the varsity level. I really am a firm believer in that the season will go as far as the girls are willing to put forth the effort and execute all the things that we need to do. Counties wise, it's going to be really tough. There are some teams that are top in the state and they have a lot of seniors, experienced players. But again, I really believe that on any given day, most of the time, um, anybody has a shot. Um, especially, you know, if you're the underdog, a lot of times teams go in overly confident or if you know that you're supposed to win, sometimes, you know, you play down to their level. So I think that's just a really exciting part of the game is just, you know, that aspect of there are upsets all the time.